We all have dreams in life and we are doing the best that we can in order to achieve our dreams because we wanted to be successful in the end. That is why, no matter how difficult the challenges are, you bravely surpassed them by exerting positive life tricks or strategies. Today, we will read a story about an orphan who became successful. But before that, we will first identify the elements of a story in order for us to appreciate a literature. These will be our goals, identify the different elements of a short story, show understanding and appreciation for an Asian literary text, and analyze literature as a mirror to a shared heritage of people with diverse backgrounds. Let us start with defining a short story. It is a brief fictional prose narrative that is shorter than a novel and that usually deals with only a few characters. And it can be read in one sitting, usually between 20 minutes to an hour. There are six elements of a short story and we will discuss it one by one. The first element of a short story is characters. These are persons, or sometimes even animals, who takes part in the action of a short story. There are two types of character. The protagonist, or considered as the main character. It is not safe to call the protagonist a hero, because the main character is not always heroic. He or she is the person with which the story is most concerned. The antagonist is the one who or which challenges the protagonist. It is also considered as villain. The antagonist is not always a human being. Sometimes it is the nature or the challenges that the protagonist is facing. To build a fire in a story, there must have an antagonist. The next element of a short story is the setting. It is the time and place in which the story happens. You may ask questions like when and where the story is taking place. Aside from that, it may include descriptions of landscape, scenery, buildings, seasons, or weather to provide a strong sense of setting. It sets the mood and helps us guess what might happen in the story. The third one is plot. It is the order or arrangement of events that make up a story. It has five elements, namely exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and the denouement. Exposition is the initial events, the introduction of characters, and beginning of the story. The second one is the rising action, which involves complications that lead to conflicts between characters. This part is the beginning of conflict. After the rising action, we have the climax, which is considered as a turning point in the story or the highest point of interest. It is where the reader asks what will happen next or will the conflict be resolved or not. After the climax is the following action, in which the problems and complications begin to be resolved. Or in short, it leads to the resolution of the conflict.
The last one is a denima. It is the final outcome of the story. The fourth element of a short story is the conflict. It is a struggle between two people or things in a short story. The main character may struggle against another important character, against the forces of nature, against society, or even against something inside himself or herself. There are two types of conflict. The first one is the internal conflict. It is when a character struggles with his or her own opposing desires or beliefs. The character here may be debating inside himself or herself about what to do. The next one is the external conflict. It refers to outside forces that may cause conflict like another human being, circumstances, environment, etc. It sets the characters about someone or something beyond their control. The fifth element of a short story is the theme. It is the central meaning or idea of the story. Or, what is the story all about? It is also a message that gives an opinion about life, humanity, or society. Some examples of themes include love, friendship, good versus evil, the importance of family, and crime is bad. The last element of a short story is the point of view or the POV. It refers to who tells the story and how the story is told. Or you may ask, who is the narrator or speaker in the story? If the narrator is telling the story from a first-person point of view, then they are part of the story and are telling it the way that they see it. First-person narrators use the pronoun I. The narrator can tell the story from the third-person point of view, meaning that they can tell us what the characters think and do but they are not part of the story. Third-person narrators use the pronouns he, she, or it. It's reading time! What you are going to do is to read the story, take note of the important characters and events, then later prepare for our activity. You will be reading a Thai folk tale titled Makato and the Kaori Show. You may pause the video while reading the selection and play it again once you are done and proceed to the activity. Let's do this activity. Based on what you've read, answer the given questions.
This time, we will apply what you have learned in the elements of a short story. So what we are going to do is plot the events in the story using the graphic organizer. You may do this in a one-hole sheet of paper.